What is up guys? This is Karan here back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. After a long time, I am back with another AOSP based room. So in this video, I'm going to share about my experiences about Evolution X room, which is so far the best room in the terms of customizations, performance and stability. It has everything in the terms of performance, in the terms of stability and performance. And this is a super duper great. In this video, I'm going to share with you my experiences about this room, how's the camera, how's the performance, what is the Geekbench score and everything in this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so as I already told you, this is Evolution X custom room, which is based on Android version 10 and I have installed this build on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 8, which is Kingo. And I have installed the Evolution X 4.5 official, which is actually which has security patch of 5th of July 2020, the latest security patch. It's available for a lot of devices. I'll provide you the link in the description for your device. And yes, if this is not officially supported for your device, you can download the unofficial build from XTA or even you can use the GSA version of this build. This is super duper great in the terms of performance and app scrolling and some lot of things is just great. First of all, if you have noticed this wallpaper, the wallpaper looks damn cool, especially in my opinion, it's just great. The white, blue and Evolution X logo, it's just super duper great. And if you have noticed, I have notification header option also available, which you can customize in settings and which looks very much interesting. We have a lot of extra tiles option to customize also like sleep screen and sync and compass and talking about the screen record option let me just tell you how this screen recorder option works just open this and we have these kind of options available where you can adjust the video bitrate to up to 20 mbps audio source from internal or microphone show touches on screen and show stop dot if you want to if you want to record your screen then this can be happened with this option available you can record your pubg and some other things some guys are interested in these kind of things so this is quite helpful for you i've installed redmi note i've installed this build in my redmi note and as you can see there's no notch i have already applied the hidden notch option and that's just perfectly fine here including the battery bar on the top of the status bar which looks very much interesting overall this room is super duper smooth Moving on to some other things, we have cameras, we have Magisk Manager, I'm gonna share with you Geekbench score and a lot more things, stay tuned for that. So moving on to camera, we have this normal MIUI camera pre-installed which has almost all the working things including ultra wide, we have the 48 megapixel camera shots available with a portrait mode with a night sight, we have the pro mode option available too. But I was kind of disappointing that we didn't got ANX cam which is a MIUI 12 camera on this device that may be possible but unfortunately we didn't got that but yes nothing is better than just something is better than nothing so we have Gcam 7.3 also available. If you want to use Gcam you can use without having any issues HDR, HDR plus everything is just fine including portrait mode that's also just fine. Night sight is a great option option available in gcam and i personally use this option a lot especially in my dark times here you have some other things including in advance you have dirty lens warning hdr plus control and some other things like that you already know about the gcam so i'm not gonna share about my experiences about gcam so I'm going to share out something very good thing uh, talking about the Magisk Manager. We have installed the latest Magisk 20.4 and the best thing about this thing is when the safety net status is passed. CTS is true, the basic integrity is also true which means you can use banking apps if you want to. I'm using the latest Magisk version and if you also want to use the latest Magisk version you can choose that one. Moving on to settings of Google Play Store as you can see the device is certain certified which is very much interesting thing you can use the magic 20.4 without having any issues with the banking apps and this room is
is super stable and just super duper fast and also it's just great in the terms of battery backup also it's just for me it's just my opinion i'm not sure about yours so i'll drop the link in the description so that you can download and try out this build and if that suits for you then it's great and if unfortunately that not suits for you just don't complain in comment box because everyone has their own opinions in settings we have all the same features in almost all the AOSP based rooms including network and internet, connected devices, apps and notifications and in battery sections there are something great things. You can see some extra info rather than the normal one which is battery temperature, you also get the charge cycles, current battery capacity and designed battery capacity. Right now it's just showing me unavailable because I have not used this build for some long time. I just used for past 24 hours then I installed other room and just installed this room once again to test it out at as if it is working properly fine or not. And it's just perfectly fine that's why I just shared with you. You have these kind of things available to check out some detailed stats about your battery. This is very much interesting thing not every ASP room have this kind of feature. Moving on some other things, we have the display option where we have dark theme and screen timeout option. Some other things include hide notch which I have already applied and it's just perfectly fine. Security does not have the face lock option which I was expecting but we didn't got face lock yet. Some devices have face lock option but mine does not have so just leave it. Don't forget for don't just try to use that. We have the evolver menu where we have a lot of extra options regarding evolution X. It has some great customization options so I'll just tell you in brief about these customization options. First of all we have the themes option where we can choose the themes to font, some colors, some icon shapes and status bar icons. We can customize the quick setting tiles and you can also customize the header image as you can see I have already chosen that that's also fine. You also have some android R related blur behind quick settings or some things like that. Some battery customization, some clock customization options, some other things like status bar network icons. This is very interesting. We have the Wo Wi Fi icon option. You can choose the Wo Wi Fi option to enable or Wo Wi Fi instead of Volti or disabled, whichever you like. Actually, I don't have the carrier which is supported for Wo Wi Fi and also does not support Volti, so that's why I cannot show you all these things. But we have Wo Wi Fi icon customization options as you can see OOS, Motorola, Asus, or EMUI. We have Volti icon customization options also available like Volti, OOS, HD, Volit or whichever we like you can choose that one also. These things are kind of very much interesting and you can use them if you want to. Now let's move on further we have the notification option customizations, quick settings, power menu, gestures, lock screen, navigation, animations and miscellaneous. All these things you can try out on your own. This is a super great custom room for almost every device and why I got this kind of wallpaper. You have the option of choosing this from Evox Papers. This one is the Evox Papers where we have a lot of Evolution X wallpapers. I've applied this one and that looks just perfectly fine. It's just great and some other options are also available as you can see. You can choose any of these wallpapers and these wallpapers are just perfectly fine. I also have the Geekbench score test for my device. I have tried to choose to check out the Geekbench score and I was impressed because of this Geekbench score. 311 is a single core and 1325 is the multi core score which is quite impressive as normal we got 307 and now we got 311 which is a high and average we got 1300 and we got 1325 and this could be increased by installing a custom kernel I'm not sure but you can use the custom kernel if you want to because I have chosen the normal default kernel here which one is Quicksilver as you can see you can use the inception kernel for Redmi Note 8 and for other devices you can use your own devices some specialist custom kernels these were kind of things which i just want to share with you i hope you like these things so this was all thanks for watching you already know about the installation so thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day